Hey residents of Maple Town, it is 16th century Venice and we are wealthy merchants. We're always wealthy merchants. That's it, that's how we do it. We're gonna be going around the canals, we're gonna be doing lots of different things to end up with the most points at the end of the game. And we're mysterious. We are mysterious. Let's get to the table and check out Venice. All right, Meeple Town, so we have Venice set up. We're ready to play. I did notice that in the intro whenever I did this and I went like that, it almost felt like I was blaming Meeple Town for something stinky happening. <laughs> ready to play? Uh, well, nobody's watching the video now. If you've never watched Meeple Town videos, if you've never watched them, then you will know. Um, I don't even know where I was going with that. They probably already turned it off by now. Let's huh? get to the table and check out Venice. All right. <laughs> Stop. Okay, so in this game, we're gonna. This is a uh, pick up and deliver game and an engine builder game all mashed together. And in a boat game, in a boat, yeah. And is it fun? We'll find out. So what we always do is we'll just kind of dive right in, start playing the game. Um, I mean, again, we're gonna be moving these gondoliers, these boats. Oh, look at this. Why do I have one of my assistants in the back of the boat? I don't know. Where's your gondolier? Your, your I don't know. But like, I just got an extra one. He's right there. <laughs> we're gonna be moving the boat where our gondolier is. And then we're just gonna be kind of alternating these different boats, picking up goods, delivering goods, gaining intrigue when we're passing each other. Um, there's different victory point things going on, but let's just go, right? Okay, on the first turn of the game, you can choose which boat you're gonna move. Normally, you'll have to switch boats or pay a cost. We'll explain that as we go, but the first turn. You know what, I wanna take my guy on to see what happens. Okay, all right, man, whatever you wanna right, do. Let's go. There we go. Battle right. Royale. Oh, Dean, we, did, we didn't even say what our records are. Oh yeah, I'm winning. I, I, I don't remember what it is, but we will put it up on the screen right now. I think I'm up by one game, if I remember. He's up right. by one game. Okay. All right, so what you're gonna do, first thing you're gonna choose which uh, boat you're gonna use. If you use the same boat that you used last turn, you have to pay three coins, otherwise you just switch the gondolier over. Uh, I'm gonna start off with this guy. I'm going to put this little wake token here showing that this is the direction that I'm going to go in, and that spot is free. So he covers up the first coin or coins and he gets those for free that's right now my next move wow. and i will have to pay on my first one oh, um, which going. is unfortunate i'm gonna pay to go uh past this one into this spot right here and then i will drop my assistant down into this spot activating that location giving myself one of those gray cubes john refuses okay john read the rule book and refuses to tell me what the different color cubes Silk, represent stone and oranges. Oranges? Uh, oranges. That's not right. That's exactly right. Is it? Okay, no. so I'm gonna pick up a stone and put it next to my silk in my boat. And, and that oranges. is that is all I will do on my turn. Now in a uh, two player game that we're gonna be playing, I will draw two cards from this deck and then I will be moving this smuggler. other boat around. See, I know the, the smuggler. smuggler. Is yeah. that right? Okay. I'm getting it. Um, so I'll be placing this boat into that location. Um, and their, their player, their thing will go out and you'll notice that when we go to the same spots, <laughs> it's going to actually bump. So if someone goes to one of these spots, it will bump the other ones forward, which helps build their engine. It does score a victory point too. When someone ends on the turn, you'll see all that as we play it out. All right. So I'm going to play the minor council. You draw two, you play one. The other one's going to go on top. So you know what you're going to be drawing for the next time. No, oh, at least one of them over at the minor council. I will put that boat over there and that will be my turn. Put the, Oh, and out. put the assistant out there. Sorry about yep. that. There you're go. all good. Okay. So I am going to, yeah, now that he's done that, I will go down here. I think I'm just going to put my wake right there. I'm um, sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my gondolier is falling What's out. What's happening of the boat. right now? What's going on here? Woo! All right. Let's, I don't even know. This is flip. Man, this is hard with my fingers. I don't know why. All right. It's a really simple move that's taken like an hour. Look, I can't even get that. I don't Fumble even put fingers. that there. Fumble that goes fingers. here. I don't even know what I'm doing in this game. Now, the cubes are small and getting them on the boat can be difficult. Jeez. But not that bad. I mean, that's it's like. not that bad. John just wants attention right now. That's, I, I do all that on purpose. I wish that that was the case. Okay. I'm going to flip these over. Um, and I'm going to send this boat to either. I'll just tell you all. I, I might not tell Dean. I'm either going well, go to go to the you. consulate or I know. And or the here. or the storehouse, um, yeah. So I don't want to go to the storehouse because of some of the stuff I will be doing in the game. I will go to the send them over to the council uh, consulate, and that will be it. Boom. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. 
All right, now this is gonna change things up a little bit for me because I will move this guy over so I don't have to pay three coins. Money is tight in this game, I would say. It can be. Uh, so I will take my little wake token here and put it here. Is that what that's called, a wake token? Uh, oh, I can't move on to that location. No, you no. can move past it, though. Yeah, but that's not what I wanted to do. And that's that's one of the cool things about the game you're going to see is if Dean passes this one, he actually activates that. Yeah. He won't bump them forward to help his engine. So that's why coins can be a premium because later in the game, you could be passing three or four of your buildings and just setting this off and that off and that off. That's right. I guess I will do that. So I'm going to spend I one. I almost didn't say that because I didn't want to talk you into doing the right thing. Well, no, I would have eventually talked myself into it anyway. But um, so I will go past this location. I did have to pay a coin to get to this location, which will activate. Um, I will activate this spot. So he do he'll do that one first because he's passed. That's it. right. That's right. So normally you would stop, activate it, and then move on to the next one. But since it's only two spots, I don't mind doing that. So I'm going to activate this one and this one, which is just taking the cubes because I'm just in that top location of both of those. Yep. That's going to give me those. And I'm in good shape right now. There you go. I've already almost won the game. <laughs> we'll see. <clears throat> I'm getting to, there. And the then I'll one. draw these two cards and figure out where I'm going to be moving my smuggler boat. <laughs> Before we started the video, Dean was like, I need to be peppy on my turns. And I don't know if this is super peppy. So you don't think far. that was peppy? Well, I mean, you forgot about the smuggler, didn't you? Uh, all right. Not going to move there. And I don't want to move there. So let's see. <laughs> wow. Um... If I so I'll, I'll tell you I do have the Senate as one of my cards and if I move there then John's going to gain a point for having his boat here and he's going to be able to move this down here but unfortunately my only other spot is the church <laughs> uh, which will Sweet. also move him so either help me or help me yeah uh, no, it's no, going to happen in this game it though. is that's right so you're going to take the shortest route there, uh, which cheapest I'm pretty route. sure the cheapest route, like two, che three, cheapest. four, five. <laughs> I can't imagine anything's going to be cheaper than five to go through there. So I'll go here. One yeah. of the assistants will go here, pushing John's down uh, or around on there, giving him better actions in that spot now. Yeah. And if but he, you're going to have to do that. Like Dean was almost here. If he would have passed Dean, that's right. Like if his boat had been on like another, that then, and it, a, uh, he would have got had to get an intrigue or pay a scroll, a meetup, a gondolier meetup would have happened. That's right. And just know, I don't know if that's technically scrolls right are good. Game. Intrigue is bad. Yeah, you don't want to get intrigue. So at the end of the game, whoever has the most intrigue loses. Mm -hmm. uh, the only way for us in a two-player <laughs> game for us to count points is if we both end with zero intrigue. If we even tie with intrigue, uh, I believe it's the first player wins the game, the that's highest right. player order. So like. Literally, if unless we both have zero in a two-player game, one player automatically loses. So there's player elimination at the end of the game here. If you don't like that, then you might then not get out of here. And then get right. out. No, get out. I'm of the one. Town. I'm the one talking you down right now. Yeah, I'm trying to think this through. I was planning on doing it's a little bit of a glare back. on the board. That's why I keep doing, <laughs> keep doing this. I got to see what my spots are here. Yeah, I'm. Uh, man, I kind of like that library spot, but I don't want to help you at the moment. I want to jump in on the mint first. I think. All right, so I'll just go here. Pretty simple. Just grab that. That's going to be it. All right. You don't have any intrigue right now, do you, John? I do not. Oh, okay. You haven't played your cards yet. I do go. not. Okay. So I have not. So I've got the... I'll just say what I have again. I've got this... I may not say them all as later on, but I have the storehouse and the library. I'm not going to help Dean, so I'm going to come to the storehouse. And it won't affect any of us because it won't pass any of us. Um, yeah. Interesting. Yep. Okay. That's it? That's it, brother. All right. I will look around. I don't have what I need. Um, but I don't want to spend money. I don't have a whole lot of money right now. So I'm just going to jump up into this boat and just recognize that I'm not going to have what I want right now. And and I, know, and I know Dean said that, but if you pay three coins, you can leave your gondolier in the boat. That's right. And That's sometimes right. you got to do that. Yeah. It, all these tiles move around from game to game, too. And it's hard to... Like, once you get in the groove of knowing, like, I know exactly where I need to go, well, that's not the same this game as it was last game. That's why it's taken me a little bit of time to kind of look around and figure out um, yeah. what I need to do. So, okay, I did activate this spot. Now, I can go up here and be able to take that cube and then also take two scrolls, which would be really good. But I don't really need that color is the problem. So, ah. Uh, this is a this is quite the challenge right now. I can also go up here and do the same thing. I don't need that one either. 
However, I do think I'm just gonna I'm gonna go up here, even though I don't need this, and and I'm sail telling John away, what I need and don't need. Oh, oh, one thing we didn't mention. Now I can actually I might do this. You can pass when Good you pass night. over your boat. You can give them the uh, yeah. cubes. You can swap out cubes from Trade those back boats, which would be really helpful. The problem is I can't dock at this boat, so that would be yeah. You can't yeah. um, you can't dock two boats at the market. That's in right, a single spot. But I'll be able to take that. I do think I'm just going to forego what I really need right now, and I'm just going to go up here to help me in the future. Because when I go here, sorry, that wake token is going to go there. When I go here, then I'm going to move this one up before I activate that. So then I'll gain two scrolls and then gain a orange cube there. I'll take my two Aren't scrolls. Aren't you glad you just did that? I don't know, actually. Not not sure if I'm, I'm glad about that one. All right, I will then play one of these cards, and first I have to find out where these are. Are Dude, your turn is taking a really Arr, Is that right? Is it taking too long? <laughs> Time me, Meeple Town. I bet John will take some longer turns than what I take. <laughs> Probably. I'm just going to go up here to the consulate, which is not going to really impact anybody, but it will move this one up. Once it becomes player. these actually in a two player game. I was actually not liking the smugglers that much when I first started playing, but yeah. but like I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking right now. I know that I have a library card, so if I go to the library, I would rather put my player here before I put the smuggler there that's right. because it's going to bump me up before because it, it's only going. So that's those are kind of interesting like decisions that you have in a two player game. My challenge is. That boy, 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 it would cost me one, two, three, four, five coins to go there. Yeah. Or one, uh, three coins if I go that way. That's not too bad. Um, but three coins is still a lot of money, especially this early in the game. We'll gain more mm -hmm. money as the game goes on. But Yeah, so that's interesting. Um, I could also... What do I get at the church again? I just lose an intrigue. Yeah. Um... Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Um, wow, see, I just complained about Dean taking a long turn, and then now I'm debating on what to do. I'm not sure, honestly. Um, I could go to the storehouse. That would cost me two coins. To help me get that. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna looking do that. over you there. There you go. I think I'm going to do that. I don't know if I love this move, but I'm going to pay. I don't love that. And you know what? I'm actually going to go to Doge's Palace here. And gain me one more. I can I can have three of these mission cards in my hand at one time. I'll gain one scroll, which that's going to be beneficial for when I'm passing other players. And one victory point. Boom! Game over. That's not game over. Then I have to pay my taxes, Dean, at, for how many cards I have in hand and missions that I've completed. So before you do business, what does the government want to do? Tax you. Tax you. That's it. Because I'm a tax man. Ridden, do, do, do. So I get to draw two of these, and after I draw two, I will. So let me see this. I, I pick one. So, okay. That could be pretty good for me. So let's take that. This one's going to go on the bottom of the deck. So now I've got three of these bad boys and haven't completed anything. Yep. I didn't love what I drew there, but who knows? There's actually quite a bit of these mission cards, which is actually pretty cool. So let's do this. He's mm. over, and then I'm going to send. And now I'm always sending the A boat, by the way. Um, oh, that stinks. So I either help you or help you. What should I do? Yeah, that's kind help of in the, in the boat that I'm going to be into. The boat. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to go to the library like I didn't want to do. Yeah. And boost you up a little bit there. It's going to give me two scrolls now if I go there. Yeah. Okay. Is that all you got? That's it, man. All right. I will... Uh, I really don't want to spend money to do this. Oof. Yeah, I don't I don't want to spend the money, but I think I'm going to do this anyway. So I'm first going to move that over there. Uh, then I will take the wake token. What do you got? The, where'd you put the wake token? Over here? I don't often use this, by the way, but I'm trying to use it in the game. To, the people need to see it. The people need to see it. All right, so I'm going to move into this spot right here. Um, however, I do think I'm going to keep moving. So I'm just going to take my gray cube into my boat. All right. And spend two coins to move up here and knock my wow. gondolier out of my boat. Nice one. 
then pick them back up, put them in there, and then I'm going to put my assistant here, which is just going to allow me to grab an orange cube. Oranges. Oranges. Is that right? No, it's not right. That was a joke. Did you look it up? That was a joke. Did you look up any of those? No, let me have it. No, I know that it's silk and stuff. I'll look it up. My turn's almost over. Okay. It's, all right. Now I'm going to play my cards. And You're whipping me already. I don't like the way I'm this not whipping you. I have zero points. This game is going poorly for me. You have double, like, you have a lot more points than I do. One to zero. Uh, by the way, doubling zero is not one. So, library. I hope that no one thought that. <laughs> Uh, ooh, that's actually pretty good. I think I'm going to go up to the... Oh, I can't dock on the same one as you, can I? You can dock on the same one as me. I just gained a victory point. No, no, no. The black... The... the uh, uh, What do you call those? The smuggler boats. Can't land on a smuggler boat spot? Right? Actually, they can only because they're different smugglers. That's right. If okay. I'm wrong, leave notes, but I'm pretty sure that you can. Okay. That's the way we played because it last game. Because this is a different player, said, technically, than this player normally the same color boat can't land on this on the same one yeah i think i'm gonna do that now nobody's gonna gain points out of that but what that's gonna do for me is help me um with my intrigue uh so it's gonna move down here nothing happens now but now when i take this action later on i'll be able to lose two intrigue which is pretty nice that's nice is that right? are you done yeah losing intrigue is good all right so i'm gonna go here i'll cover this up i will Pay two coins to go over here. Three back real quick. Um, yeah. So I'll gain. Oops! I just took a fiver. That's how. That's how I win the game. <laughs> All right. So I can just. That's it. That's really simple. And then, quick turn. Yeah. Let me just flip these over real quick. So I leave the market or the docks. Um, ooh, I'm at the docks. That sounds pretty good to me. And you're at the market. Let's go to the docks. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, so that means that I'll gain the victory point. Um, because every player that's behind, when they go there for every player that's in front of them, those players score points. So if Dean was here, he was like, if Dean was there, I'll just say it. Oh my gosh. I think you may have done that wrong, John. Maybe How? I'm wrong. Oh, it would have gone another I way. I think it would have gone past me. Um, so hold just up, like up. in the other movement, you're going to knock you out will, this one. Yeah. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, one, you're two, right. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you would have had to have gone that uh, way. And then I would have had to have yeah, taken Yeah, so that's actually entry. good. It's good for you, yeah. I don't know why that, I said ah. It's bad for me. I will take... So uh, explain this. So, so whenever that happens, whenever you go buy another boat, um, they have to either lose a scroll or gain an intrigue. Um, now, I do have a good places to gain scrolls, so I'm actually just going to lose a scroll because I know that I'll be able to pick that up somewhere else. But that's a big part suspicious. of the game. Yeah. It's a big part of the game when you go buy other boats of, of different colors that you're, um, again, drawing suspicion, like John said. But when you dock, it doesn't do that. That's right. So let's just play one more round, and then we'll talk about the art and components. Okay, sounds good. All right, on my turn, I am going to move my um, gondolier over into this boat. Uh, now the problem is I'm not quite sure Ooh, what I'm barely going to in there. do with that. <laughs> he Man, was I fine, can't, dude. I'm fumbling all over the place. My guy was fine. All right, now just for that, I'm not going to spend money to go this way. I'm going to go right here. Okay. When I do that, I'm going to I'm going to dock at this uh, more at this spot. Is that what it is? Uh, move this up here, and then what's going to happen is every other player is going to gain an intrigue. So John's going to gain an intrigue for me activating this spot and then i'll also gain a gray cube and while john's taking his turn i'm looking it up because i'm gonna start calling it by what it is okay go for it you need to move the smuggler oh yeah yep yeah, sorry why Smug do you move the smuggler, smuggler time so? all right let's see what we got here uh let's see oof man that is eventually i'm going to have to play this one uh yeah, I'm just going to have to do it. Eventually, I'm going to have to do this anyway, so I might as well go ahead and do it now. Um, this is going to be the Senate spot, and what that's going to do is move over here. It doesn't matter which direction I go, although I would have gone this way anyway. Um, and would you have? The Senate. Would you have gone that way anyway? I don't think so, Dean. Anywho, this is going to go here into that spot, bumping John up. Thank which you, buddy. It helps him out a lot, but eventually I'm going to have to do that anyway, so I figured I might as well do that now. <clears throat> this one goes to my discard pile. Now it is over to John's turn while I look up what those cubes are. 
Yeah. Um, Are you kidding me? It just says resource cubes. Really? Oh, I was watching someone else play, and they were calling them silk and stone. And something. Maybe we should have made it up for themselves. Maybe. It might be in another spot. Probably in another them. spot. I think I'm going to go back to the church. Um, yep. And so now that we have... We're further along. I think Dean's explained this, but I'm oh, going to say it again. Back here. That's what I thought. Ceramics. Ceramics. Cloth and silver. Okay. You were 0 for 3 on that. That's Hey, <laughs> I want board game gumbo. I'm going to blame, blame Dame. I'm going to Dame BJ. Um, blame the BJ. So I would, I'll get to lose an intrigue here. I'll gain a victory point. Here I could lose another one. And then, but I don't have any. And then here I'm going to pick up a... Another cube, so silver. I should have moved my gondolier over here. My bad, y'all. You're gonna pick up a silver. That's what that is. Silver, my bad. I got my silver. Okay. Hi ho. All right. Silver. Is that is so. that something? It is a thing. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to the monastery or the market. Uh, going to the market would help Dean, and the monastery would not help Dean. Actually, the monster beast. I'm gonna drive. <laughs> oh, that yeah. would really mess me up. Hey! Okay, that's what's gonna happen. I yeah. do have to count. It's a bad thing about having your boat so close together. Is yeah, that... it's risky. So if I cover this one, one, two, three. There's no way you can get there no. fast. Uh -oh. So this boat's gonna have a meet up with Dean. Have a meet up with Dean, and then this doesn't help him at the moment because it doesn't bump. So you have to actually be moving forward to bump him up. So he gains two intrigue or has to spend two scrolls or gain one intrigue and lose one scroll or whatever. So Yeah, and that is kind of a tough decision because I don't want to lose um, all of my scrolls. So I will lose one scroll. Because you may, you may have to have scrolls to complete this That's as right. Well. That's right. Yeah. Now, again, in these locations, a lot of the locations I'm able to gain scrolls, which is really helpful. Um, we said we were going to talk about art and components. Yeah, I'm just going to lose. You two, do one more I'm going to lose two scrolls. So I've got zero scrolls right now. Oh, it wasn't your turn. I was just no. You're done. I was that. Okay, we're going to talk about art. And components. Let's talk about art and components. Okay, so with the art and components, you're going to notice. Wait a minute, this is not the setup. So many more things are going There's on. There's a lot more going on. It's because John and I played out the entire game. We took the score markers off the I board. I wanted to get one oh, more. Uh, one more. <laughs> I wanted to get another that didn't make play. A difference, trust As me. we talk about gameplay, I was like, let me finish the game entirely so I can give some even more play before I get my thoughts. So. Yeah. So this is not the setup until the end of the game, but. We'll talk about the art and components while you're looking at this anyway. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and start. Yeah. Uh, I love the art on the box. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, got it back go. here. I do too. Uh, I think that looks This great. whole series, just really well, good design. Like I love how, I like the border on here. I like the word, the font they use. This is beautiful art. <coughs> um, yeah. I, I'm on, a big fan. On the board as, as well. I, I think the, the board art. Um, it's fine. fine. It's it's fine. I would say it's nothing that's like blowing my mind, but yeah. I still think it's fine and super functional. I think everything you look at is is really iconography is, is well done yeah. in this. You don't have to look back at the rule book that often. Um, and then the components. I mean, the screen printed on you all like those. That. I love that. You like the boats. Uh, the boats are fantastic. The cubes being small. Okay. That's that's a uh, fumble fingers over here. Drop those quite a bit. I uh, did. That becomes an issue. The biggest issue with all the components for me is with these tiles, yeah. right? So as you are triggering the things that happen on those tiles, you're going to have to constantly pick up and move And you'll those. knock things around. That's right. Now you can fix that with a... Um, with some kind of like a universal, you know, sheet that shows you all Absolutely. the... Absolutely. And, it, and uh, you could do here. that. So like, I mean, you have this on the back. You could laminate, you know, scan and laminate these. <laughs> and that would allow you just to kind of look and see what it is. You just say, I'm going to the mint. And I just read what it says. But unfortunately... More than likely, you're going to have not, yeah. you're going to have meeples that are at the top there, and they're often going to be covering the title of that even. So that's yeah. a a big negative for me. I would say that's, there, I there's mean, no way around that. I do not like that at all. A lot of people. So that, that this is a lot of people. A lot of people's complaint is that, and then also the boats are pretty big. Mm -hmm. So when you start, especially in like a four player game, you have to stack them in a way to where you know who goes first because that counts the points. Mm -hmm. Like it can get, I mean, really stacky. I know stacky's not, not a word, stacky. but it's super it can stacky. get really stacky. So. You know, I, I, that, that made me hungry because I just thought of Snacky. I've been getting hungry this her whole video. In this stacks. Her yeah. video. Pringles stacks. Yeah, Pringles I don't love. But I, everything else is like, like, like you said, these are awesome. Like the boat's great. I love how they're not just meeples. These Blade little assistants stacks? are really sweet. Are they Pringles? These are nice. Stacks? Yeah, they are Pringles. Okay. No, no. Maybe they're, no, they're Lays. 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 They're Lays. That are like Pringles. They're fake Pringles. Yeah. Yeah. Papa, um, they're, better. Papa, they're better. They're better than Pringles. Um, okay. Okay, so gameplay. 
Good and bad. <laughs> good and bad. Mostly good, and... but the bads are bad. Yeah. Like, I don't wouldn't say mo- bad. Like mostly good with how everything looks, but as far as sure. like, functionality, I would say the functionality is not great in this. Game. I mean, also when you get four deep on one of these, you're gonna be like really like think of how many like you know what I mean. Like if we had a four player game going on. Like, and then you've got other, like, you could get all fumbly there. I don't know. I guess four. Then you'd have everything open. I here's, don't know. here's my thought, though. All right. I don't want to, like, belabor this point or whatever. I, I don't know how you could do that. The bigger, board would be huge. Bigger tiles wouldn't even do that because the problem is, there. even if this is not on that location, it's still in front of it. And so, almost the only way that you could do that is to have risers that like these acrylic risers yeah. where you could see this and your meeples were below it. I mean, I can't think of another way that you could do that really the well. Only, I would have maybe player age that had pictures of everything. I think that. that's the way like to if you, you need if to have you, player If age. you had like pictures next to it and everything and had really, would really be beneficial, I think. I, Anyways, wish, I wish that would have been provided, but it's not too difficult to make them to look like it, not just the yeah. words, but to actually have the icons on there. I anyway, agree with that. But anyways, but I mean, still a lot, of, a lot of positives though. Yeah. But is the game any fun? Oh, you want that? Why don't you tell them like how you were feeling at the beginning? Yeah, let me let me start off with that. Okay, so John John had read the rule book. He was teaching this game to me. Okay, and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna like this game. Uh, first off, pick up and deliver is not like something I'm super excited about. Me neither. I, I don't I don't dislike pick up and deliver. I really like, enjoyed Maglev Metro and several other ones, but it's not something that I get Istanbul. like super hype on. Istanbul is another really good one. Um, then, so John read that. He read some of the, like, the win conditions and losing conditions. Like how you lost. Right. How I lost. So you... Oh, wait, wait. What did you... We just gave up the... Ooh. Spoiler. Oh, the boy. Wins. That's all right. Well, Man. spoiler. You can... Uh, lose... How he actually won. We were just trying... You know, we're just playing some psychological <laughs> stuff. Got to go to the next video to see what happened. <laughs> you have to get your intrigue all the way to the bottom. Uh, and if not, you could potentially lose, is, is how that works out. He read that, and I was like, oh, I don't like that. It's a little more interesting at a higher player count. Because yeah. at a higher player count, it's just the one who has the least is thrown is is loses the game immediately. So then there's a little bit more like back and forth and oh man, how many is he going to go? How many is she going to go? Yeah. Uh, but here it's just straight up. If you're both not at zero, then one player is going to lose. Yeah. Even if you tie, whoever is last in player order is eliminated, which would have been me. Yeah. And now here's okay. Uh, since you mentioned that, I'll, I'll stop there for just a second. You get a benefit if you're the first player. You get uh, six coins. Second player gets eight, eight points, right? I think you're at a better advantage by going second, right? I think so. Because at the end of the game, and this happened uh, in a game that we have played, yeah. it's happened where you can give somebody intrigue by going last, and mm-hmm. they have not planned well enough to get rid of that they intrigue. They have to plan for that. And so I think the benefit comes in the second, or in the you know the, the being the last player in this game. Now, this is on the handful of games that we've played, as yeah. opposed to like... You know, hundreds of playtesting, so I might be totally wrong on that. But in my experience, I would I would rather go last. But the, the, there is the advantage of you have first kind of dibs potentially that's getting true. all that's of true. your guys out, yeah. uh, your assistants out there. So that's that's the advantage for you that. You got first choice of where you're going to go on the board. It was interesting time. that like even in that game, though I got to go last because of what you did, I couldn't you know <coughs> tie you on that. On it. well, anyways, sure. I, I, <laughs> we're kind of having to give away some of it. But, that's right. That's but right. but anyway, I wasn't able to do what I wanted on this track, even though I was going to go last, which you would think it'd be advantageous that you can like kind of determine what happens but yeah. it just didn't work out the way that I wanted it to there um, but going going back to what we were saying though so as John is reading these rules I'm like oh I don't think I'm gonna like this game at all but then we played it and played it more and played it more and played it more and the more I've played it the more I've liked it even yeah. though some of those things I still the intrigue part is bothersome to me I don't know if I like it or don't that's that's probably where because I'm you have it. to pay attention and it because uh-huh. it, it, you can get it really screeched up the council track by having more. So it's like, it's like a, I feel like I have a love hate relationship. If it wasn't like player elimination and maybe like you lose five points for every entry you have over it, I think I would like that better. But then it, not making it player elimination makes you have to really pay attention. Yeah. And, and in fact, and I kind of like that. If you're the first player, you have to have more of a cushion than the last player would have to have. You have to. You just have to have a cushion Mm -hmm. of having a lot of scrolls and trying to get your intrigue down as low as that you can get and then having money because you might think, okay, I'm set right now. Here comes John's turn. John gives me another intrigue and, oh, he passes by my boat. I'm going to have to, you know, lose a scroll in order to... So you have to give yourself a cushion. I don't love that, 
But it hasn't bothered me as much as I thought it would. I'll, I'll I'm say the same that. way. Like when I first read that rule, I thought, "Ugh, I don't like that." Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But it, but it leads to some interesting calls. Like it leads to at the end of the game when you're down to you know one or two turns, you're thinking, "Oh, I want to deliver this <laughs> and score eight points." But hey, if 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 the other player makes me gain entry, I lose the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What am I gonna do? You know, I guess I just need to make sure I don't automatically lose the game. Yeah. So I. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty interesting. You know, I had some of the same feels the first time even I played this game with my wife. My wife uh, hated it. Like, she's like, I don't like this game. Yeah. Um, and we didn't we didn't even finish the game because she was just like, I'm just not enjoying it. She thought it was fiddly. Um, I I understand, like, at first when you're learning the game, you're having to – I don't – especially when you're playing a two-player game, you're controlling yours, you have to control the smuggler. There's a lot of little things that you're having to, you know, little things like that you have to do on your turn. Um, but I didn't love it when I was first playing the game. And I initially came into it pretty, very positive. Cause I was like, I don't want to pick up and deliver, but I love engine building. Um, I love Andre Novak, David Cersei, like, all right, right. this thing's going to rock. Um, and, but I was in the middle of playing going, Hmm. You know, I, I, there's just some little things like I didn't love. How, again, I actually didn't love the smuggler at first. I like it a little bit more now that I play the game. But it starts really slow. And that's how a lot of engine building games mm-hmm. are. Yeah. And so, like, at first, it is kind of slow getting going. because you're, you're just, just basically just, gaining cubes. You're just gaining, like, a cube. Out. And, like, that's what happened. Like, and I think I, I really need my wife to play this again, really, because it gets really exciting at the end when you're passing three or four things. And you're setting this off and this one. Boom, boom, boom. I can do this and I can do this and I can do this. That gets really fun. Um so yeah, so the more I play, so if you've if you've only played this or you try it one time, and you're like, uh, I'm not sure how I feel. I really believe that subsequent plays are only going to make it more positive. I agree. I could be wrong. I mean, I, there, there's probably a few people that won't like it, still won't like it. If it's pick up, if you don't like pick up and deliver at all, this will not change your mind about that. Um, I think even if you like, even if you like engine building and that's like one of your favorite things, still the core mechanism of this game. Is the pickup and deliver? It's a big part, but you can also score points on the tiles that I like. You can a lot of points. A you lot can of score points. a lot of points. However, I still think that to build a better engine. Now, I, had, I actually had a really good engine. I mean, but you have to deliver stuff already, to get these bonuses done. Yeah, here. you're still going to have to do that. So it's it's still a big part of this game. I don't know if that's going to change your mind. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure, but I do like. I mean, positively, 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 I like how you can score points on the buildings and score points. Here and the major I agree. council, like, yeah. uh-huh. and I really love. I love in games where you're fighting back and forth on a track to score yeah. a lot of points at the end. I love that about Terra Mystica. I mean, that's just a, a mechanic I like because it's just so much. Oh, 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 what do mm-hmm. I do? Do I just let them have it? How many points is it going to be worth? And you're trying to calculate that in your brain, and you're pushing your luck. Yeah. You know, when you're going up those, and I think that's really fun. So, you do our final thoughts. Yeah, you want to go ahead. Yeah, sure. Um, so I'll just reiterate again for those who skip forward to the final thoughts. Um, at first, I the first time I played this game, I, I didn't love it. It's, it's a little slow getting it going, especially when you're playing two players for the first time, which is what I did. And you're also not only doing your turn, but you're also doing the smugglers. Yeah. You know, and so you're and, uh, and you're just getting cubes at the beginning most of the time because you're just putting your players there. But as the game progresses, it gets it gets pretty good. Yeah. Like you're you're getting some really powerful combos based on how you're moving your. Your boat around, you're setting off a lot of these uh, places on the buildings, which is really feel. It's a really fun engine building. You're building an engine with your cards down here that you're delivering, which is really cool. Uh, so there's a lot of little engine building uh, going on. I, I really like that about the game. Um, does it blow my mind? It doesn't blow my mind. Um, now I'm also not a big pick up and deliver fan. Uh, Dean, we mentioned this in the gameplay thoughts. Um, I don't have a, a pick up and deliver game in my top fifty of all time at all. I don't think. Um, Istanbul is probably there for me. I love Istanbul. Yeah, I, I like Istanbul, but and, and I like this about how I like Istanbul. Mm-hmm. Um, it's yeah, I'm gonna give this seven and a half out of ten. That's so, a good score. Yeah, it's a good score. I like the game. Like usually willing to play. Will I suggest it? I don't know. It's it's kind of a weird place where like. If you're, I feel like this is like a gamers pick up and deliver game. Mm-hmm. Like it's not like Istanbul that you could probably play that with some gateway folks and stuff like that. So if you are, but I don't have a lot of gaming friends where pick up and deliver is a mechanic that they really like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so that's that's where it's like I don't know when I'm going to suggest this, mm-hmm. but I still like the game and I like what uh, Novak and Cersei did with the engine building a- aspect of it. Uh, I'm going to hang on to the game, but it's not like you know shooting up there as you know. Wow, this is one of my favorite games. You know, it's it's yeah. solid. It's a solid game. Yeah, 
Uh, I'm I'm real close to John. Um, I, I am I'm gonna give this a seven. I'll just go ahead and say that off the bat, uh, and it's closer to that seven and yeah. a half spot. But some of those things that I really dislike about this game, really, it's hard for me to get past that. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's hard for me to get past the the player elimination at the end. Uh, it's not my favorite thing, and I I, I get um, it, it, this is a me thing more than like a, an issue with the game. To play an entire game, and then you're just done, and then you're just done without you know getting your points. Mm-hmm. Uh, I that can be a big deal for me. Um, the issues with uh, the the first player versus the last player again. I've not played it enough as playtesters would have, yeah. but a personal feeling is that I would rather be last, even with gaining this bonus, because you can just potentially eliminate somebody in the last round just because you went after them. And you're talking more about a two-player game, too, because that's, that's what you've played. Well, maybe. I know, not necessarily, because you're still going to be going at the end. And in I fact, you could mess everybody up, you know, so... Um, I, I think this is a better play. I think this is a better game at three. Now I've only played this at two. That's the other thing. I think you know at a three-player game, I think I probably like this a little better. But I don't think it's going to rise it up to that seven and a half for mm-hmm. me because of those bigger issues and, and then some of the component issues that I have, have problems with too. But I still really like the game. It's so I, fun. I think the game is a lot of fun to play. I really love the engine building. I love going around and triggering different things, uh, passing by locations and, and doing those. I love the gameplay of that. I think that's fantastic. It's just difficult for me to get past some of those bigger issues with like the overall scheme of the game. So anyway, not 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 a bad score at all. Seven just, is, is one that I'll play for sure. If you're thinking about should I pick this game up, I do think that there's gonna it's, that people are gonna have, and I've seen some reviews a love hate relationship with this game. Mm-hmm. If you can't get past the player elimination, you're not gonna like this game. Yeah, you know, if you don't really love, I don't really like pick up and deliver that much. But if you're just like I just don't like it at all, even though there's engine building, I don't know if it's enough. You yeah. know, to really put you over that hump. Um, you know, these things are kind of fiddly. Like, that irritates people, and I get it. Like, mm-hmm. it can be irritating, you know. So, but then again, I think the more you play it, that there's a, a pr- darn good, a, a good game, like, under some of yeah, those things. I agree. And so that's why, like, for me personally, uh, seven and a half. Uh, yeah. I like it. Yeah, so seven and a half from John, seven from me. We both really enjoy the, how the game plays out. Tell people how they can get in touch with us. If you're enjoying our channel, we would love for you to subscribe to it. Go to MeebleTownGames.com to check out all of our stuff. We're at Meebletown Games on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we're Board Game Geek Guild 3407. Thanks for coming down to Meepletown. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to follow us on Twitter at Meepletown Games and connect with us on the Meepletown Guild, Guild number 3407, at BoardGameGeek.com. And also subscribe to our podcast and YouTube channel. And until next time, thanks for coming down to Meepletown.